I learned recently that, you know, like, when somebody vomits and when you smell mm. vomit, Good morning, it everybody. makes you want to vomit. That's like, an, uh, like, like a, a biological guttural. defense mechanism to let you know that like someone has been poisoned or like what we've been eating is bad. So like everyone else should throw oh, up. Oh, we should that's, all do this. That's it, wild. It's like an alarm being like everyone needs to throw up because it there's could something be. bad inside of us. Interesting. Because yeah. poop doesn't like smell doesn't make you like throw up as much as vomit. Makes you want to throw. imagine if yeah. smelling poop made you had to. I know, right? Like, oh, oh, okay, let's just run the intro. We are like, <laughs> all right, uh, let's huh. go. Ready, baby? Yep, let's get it. It's comedy time, baby. baby. Let's go. <laughs> Filtered. Sorry, that was the on. My bad. <laughs> Welcome back to Zenny Heath Unfiltered. Good morning. Hope you're having a beautiful Monday. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm disgusted. And I <laughs> I'm right. am. Uh, we and we are unfiltered. I was I was just seeing yesterday. So you know how we always hear about how you know they're gonna ban TikTok or they're gonna do this and that and everyone <laughs> talks about it, but it never happens. This was one of them that I really thought wasn't gonna happen. Was that this huge record label was going to remove just all their music from TikTok. And in my head, I was like, that's so unrealistic because that's such a bad idea. UMG, Universal for, for, Music Group. For UMG, horrible idea. And I was like, that's not going to happen. That's very unrealistic. And lo as and you know, lo and behold, all the music is out. Purged. How can you do that as a record label? You have all these artists that blow up because of TikTok. TikTok is a platform that helps so many musicians, whether you're huge or not. Taylor Swift, I'm sure she got so much bigger because of TikTok. Agreed. It, it just helps. It brings in more money. It gets your <laughs> songs on the charts, higher on the charts, especially if you're trying to sign new, I, new mus musicians and you say, oh, by the way, yeah, our our music is not on TikTok. I'm going to be like, I'm definitely not signing with you guys. I think it's a play because they own so much music. They pull it from TikTok and they go, you really want it? You're going to have to pay us however many millions and millions of dollars to put it back on. Uh, but that's what it sounds like. They're probably charging way too much. Yeah, I'm sure. Because for TikTok, for them to have a disagreement, that means I, in my head, it was like, they're probably asking for way too much money. Yeah. That was just like out of pocket. And, but it kind of destroys UMG. And it, I feel like now it's, more people are going to, I think it gives more people uh, a chance on TikTok to be bigger now. Because it, it kind they're of- Independent it, artists, yeah. Or, or not, even, lower, in, not even independent artists. I feel like just in general, imagine a whole bracket has now been taken out of TikTok. That gives all of us a chance to now- Yeah, put probably, a boom too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just, I feel like it opens that door of a possibility for a lot of creators and musicians. Would Which also, is great for TikTok. What, what's strange day. though is that, yeah, they pulled like all the main tracks, but if there are other remix songs that have UMG artists on it, they haven't pulled them. Like, what do you mean? The, uh, for instance, Patricia and I, we did one that's a Harry Styles sign of the times with one of uh, Taylor Swift songs. They like combined it. It's this amazing mashup. Oh, I heard the that. The Taylor Swift song is still. On the it. it, it's they haven't pulled that, but they pulled all of other stuff. I think stuff. it I think it may take time, right? Just like it takes time when you post a YouTube video, yeah. you use a song, and it takes like three months to get demonetized or get pulled out. I I don't think it just like works as a magic. I think they have a ton of artists in mind that they already have set up to pull, like Taylor Swift, Harry Styles. That's easy. That's like I'm sure it's so automated where they can pull that out. But mashups like that. I could see them that's being taken down in maybe like a month or two. Megan Trainer needs to go in the TikTok offices and shake shake things up. I feel like Whoa. she's like I feel like she's the you said, most You said Me you said Megan Trainer. Oh wait. What did I say? Taylor Train Megan Trainer. Yeah, you, you know, you said Megan Trainer, but why but did you I say Megan Trainer? I think Megan Trainer is like one of the most popular top uh charting artists who is <laughs> very integrated on TikTok. Like sure. she's yeah. actively participating in TikTok culture. She's talking to other creators all the time. She's doing the TikTok live thing right now with Terry Crews and TK. Yeah. She should speak. I like people that like recognize that it's a very big platform and it's like a really good platform for a lot of people. Isn't mm -hmm. it strange how like the whole sped up and slowed down versions of songs sometimes like do get more viral I, than the actual track? I, yeah. I honestly like, 
I always love like sped up songs. At first, I think it's because my brain now how it operates. It's watching sped up sh- like shit is just better. I also think it kind of like takes us back to our childhood where you would hear like the Chipmunk remixes to like Lil <laughs> yeah. Wayne. It could, and you're just like, oh, it just hits. I think there's like a little bit of nostalgia. Mm-hmm. To there's it. one song that, are, that it's even hitting right now. Like, we wanna be. Yes. Hey, oh, oh. Do you know what I'm talking it's, about? It's a, is it Kanye West? I mean, I don't know, but it's like it just reminds me of like what they would have in like the intro of a song, a rap song. Yeah, yes. and then it would get to the song. Wanna be, wanna be, yeah, yeah. Like, I wanna be, wanna be, wanna be. <laughs> yeah, that was so good. What were you about to say, Bubba? Oh. <laughs> I, well, no, I was just I, oh, we have Mariah here today. Hey, Mariah. <laughs> no, while you were saying that, I was going to say, I totally forgot that was like a phase. Yeah. Where chipmunk version of every song was coming out. But they out. like they would like hit harder than the real one for some reason. Yeah, that's so funny. That's was so Alvin fun. and the Chipmunks bringing music back? Hell yeah. In a way. Like... With, if the, if, you know when a I movie was Alvin plays, for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Huge impact. Like, you know when you like any like big show, like <gasps> Euphoria. Puts a puts a song that's been out for years yeah. on their show and it just blows up. Everyone's mm-hmm. like, "This song's the best!" Like people are like, "It's been out for twenty years." What do you mean? You've ne- like you never heard this, but yeah, it's a, it's I like feel a like revival. Al- I feel like Alvin and Chipmunks. Brought I think songs Alvin back. should go back and sue and pull all of the uh, the remixes that you know, like which ones mimicked him. Oh well, speaking of Chipmunks, do you know who the voices of Alvin and the Chipmunks were like in the past movies? No. The actors that were it. I mean. Yeah, no, who? Uh, what, 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 Justin Long, and then Matthew Gray Goobler, and the, and then the oh, other David third. David Cross? Uh, and Jesse McCartney was one of the Alvin and the Chipmunks. Weird. Yeah. Why do I feel like it could have been anybody? Because they're, all they're doing is speeding up <laughs> yeah. their voice. It can't be. I get, but they have to have a little bit of acting and charisma. They needed a good singer, a good harmonizer. Got that Jesse McCartney up in and there. And they all can sing. I know Justin Long can sing. He can? Yeah, I think I haven't. Seen I'm pretty sure there was a movie where he was singing, and and I was like, I taken back. I was shocked. Oh, maybe he can. Yeah. But I always thought that was. Such oh, a- he has a long pitch. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, that was joke was for you. You saw that? No. I say he definitely has a long pitch. That's a, that's a that's a that's a baseball term. No? That's a pun, <laughs> that's a pun, right? Long pitch. Oh, pitch perfect. I don't oh, know. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm trying to ruin you. I'm trying to. I'm, trying, I'm trying, I was trying to ruin you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He said. <laughs> <laughs> does your dad? Do your dads like Pitch Perfect the movie? My dad does. Yeah. There's a trend, or there's like this truth people are discovering about the movie Pitch Perfect and how much dads love Pitch Perfect. It's also weird. The military, like my buddy, was in the Marines. He said every single Marine is obsessed with Pitch Perfect and they would all get together. Interesting. And they would watch it together at night and it was like this huge thing and that they would do reenactments of it and they would do the performances and it's just all these Marines lined up singing the songs and they were like full-blown obsessed with it. That's really sick. Wait, is that why they did a whole like army segment in the like the third movie? Oh, you know yeah, how they, they, like, they went to they went to the like they went to the military and yeah. they sung for them. Maybe they found out there was a big demographic That's and they're actually, like, "We so weird." Actually, yeah, you're onto yeah. something. Yeah, that makes sense. That's like moms can't say Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Yeah, it's like a thing. Like every mom, they can't say his they name, like yeah. Chipotle, nobody, or like yeah, okay. nobody can say. My Channing mom Tatum. can't say Chipotle. Wait, interesting. I think it's the A's. I think it is like kind of the a, different pronunciations. Of yeah, the A's. it's like Channing. Ah, and then Tatum is A, so it's, it's like Channing mostly a guy's name or a girl's name. I've seen both a lot. Okay. To me, it's, it's to me it seems sex. more like a girl's name. Channing. For me, Channing. it's like both, but I, I don't know if it's like generationally for them. They like think of like oh the good looking guy Chat Chan, like they they don't think yeah. of his name as his name. Maybe I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of people also a lot of UK and British people talking about how uh, freaking out about how they're about to get drafted. Like, oh, I'm not going to war. Like, all these, like, TikTokers are talking about, like, oh, oh. oh we're- absolutely not. I'm not getting drafted. Yeah. That, that's, that's If you think I'm going to pick, absolutely not. No. <laughs> that's, that's my, uh, <laughs> wait, so they, uh, is it being, But what's, like, ha- what's happening on that side? I mean, we've had freakouts like that where we thought we were getting drafted. Oh, yeah, and all those, oh, my, I love those memes. That was the best. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, British military is currently too small to respond to the threats emerging in the changing world. Uh, taking preparatory steps to enable placing our societies on a war footing when needed are now not merely 
desirable but essential you don't want to say that Ooh, that's something as a country you don't want to say that like oh we are not prepared for war <laughs> because that makes people want yeah, it's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say we're locked and loaded baby let's go and then you keep that shit on the hush and you're like we <laughs> that's like when you're playing kickball or baseball and the whole infield is like easy out <laughs> <laughs> and they start moving and they up. start moving forward you're Nothing like is worse than that. you <laughs> are always my team always my easy team easy out <laughs> all right easy out <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's nothing worse. Damn. Right, I want to wear that on a shirt. Easy out. Easy, Easy out. out. <laughs> Easy out. Easy out. That's Easy out. really That's my funny. Favorite That's and like then the my back favorite could just be the outline of a field, like the baseball. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Do so they not have like enough incentives to like join the military out there? Compared, I don't know. They should give I, them education. I feel like these days. The only people in the military are people that really, really want to be in the military. Low Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> and by serve, we mean. <laughs> <laughs> when the whole thing was out, bro, that was dying. It was like, it's a uh, war of the week. <laughs> He was good. I wonder how he's actually doing. Remember when we met Lohanthony's mom? Was it with you or was I with you? I was not with, I don't remember meeting. Uh, we were mom. at Umami Burger and I remember. Yes, I was with you. That was you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember we met Lohanthony's mom and I recognized her immediately because like I would see his mom in like a lot of just, just on the internet in general. But yeah, what, what are the, uh, the age requirements for the draft? What is it? Uh, 18 to 25. Oh, once you're past 25, that's they, it? Yeah, you can't be drafted. Ooh, hey, yeah, 18 to 25. Easy out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> easy out, baby. Yeah, easy we're good. Out. We have nothing to worry about. Oh. But like, you're drafting people that literally don't want to be there. It's not like jury duty where you really don't have to go. No, you have, if you <laughs> don't- they tell you like- right, If you don't I, go- You have to go. You uh, literally go to prison. All right. But the thing is, <clears throat> I'd rather if be everybody prison. stood strong and was like, we're not doing it, they literally couldn't put everybody in jail. Here's the thing. And <clears throat> I, I, I want to play both sides on this because what if our country is actually like in real danger and it's like, we, would we all rather just perish or are we going to fight? What I, would we do? I'd be like, you got us into this mess. That's true. You did this. Yeah, why don't like the, the, the main heads just duke it out on like the soccer field? You or guys something. are the ones starting the war, and then you're gonna pull us in. Yeah, it's, it's, to go. It's, no. It seems very childish. Yeah, too. Like just the you know their arguments are totally unpreventative. Uh -huh. or, sorry, preventative, Pre preventative. Yeah, they're sitting there, and like I bet you, if there was arguing with the whole world to watch, we'd all look at each other and be like, oh. This is obviously their fault, but this has nothing to do with us. Yeah. What a we, crazy concept, though. Getting drafted or serving? You no, know, just conversations, like presidents, people that run countries, Yeah, talking to each other. Like, it's like we represent our podcast and we can talk to other podcasters, but that is such a small little thing that, a space that we control. You're going to, you're like, uh, what country are you representing? Like, this is the United States of America. Like, this is my country. Imagine and I'm speaking on behalf. And you're just with other people that are running other countries. It's like that, what a crazy. that montage of Trump meeting all the other, yes. are they all considered presidents? Presidents or Are there other terms? dictators or ambassadors, prime yeah, ministers, prime minister. like him meeting with all of them is like a crazy yeah. like crossover. It's crazy when you think <laughs> it's about like, it. That's so sweet life of Hannah Montana. Like, what <laughs> yeah. are you doing here? It's like, oh my god, look at them together. Yeah. <laughs> imagine, we, imagine the four of us had to represent this country, and we had to make like a final decision for something so important in a room full of like other people that run other countries. Like, We'd be like, seems... Zayn would be like, what if we just like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, really quick. I know wait, this is serious, wait. but like, how funny would it be if right, we- right, film this real quick. Oh Zane, Zane would be trying to make a TikTok. This. He would be up there. He's like, all right, guys, here, look. Uh. <laughs> Zane would be making Leah like last minute, get him like a new suit, like tailored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be thinking, okay, Instagram picture. Like, what do I want? And then I'm going to want like one like this <laughs> in, in like a room full Just of like presidents own, and like kings. <laughs> What if we had to testify serving for you in Congress though, just getting grilled about like our podcast, like crazy. Like even I just saw, I just saw um, that there's like a, a case. I saw like the head of like uh, Snapchat of um, Facebook of Instagram, just different, all yeah, different media apps. apps. They're all standing there and they're all being questioned about something that's been happening on their app. Yeah. And realistically it's, 
it's really hard to put all the blame on like somebody that just is the head of an app, right? It's it's just tough. It's tough, especially when it comes to like very specific situations. Where, yeah. Um, there I saw that parents had children that um have been uh, going through or going through a lot because of just the way the app is going for them you know right like, right right like, like I, the bullying it's it's also weird to like like you're saying put the blame on something it's like people it's just a tough it's a tough situation drunk yeah. driving accidents and people get killed all the time it's like you don't see the ceo of jack daniels like yeah it's it's like you chose to drink you chose to do this you chose to do these things it's like you chose to sign up for facebook you cho like it's kind of at some point, people have to take the responsibility, I feel, for their own actions. And mm -hmm. obviously, like, getting bullied online and, like, things happening is, like, obviously not a good thing. But I think it's mostly just to scare them into having a sense of accountability because they never want to be in that type of position again and then going back. And but, like, you can't stop. Oh, I can, I'm completely with you that I, I, I disagree with, like, the line of questioning and the way they, like, frame uh, how they, like, taunt all of those like CEOs in front of people. People that have like, uh, people that have right now like eight year old kids, they also had phones too. They had like all the apps. They knew what was happening on the phones. I'm just surprised that they were willing to just give their kid the phone and go, But I was hey, on MySpace here. making fucking whore trades. No, no, like, I know, no, I know. What? Like whore trades, that's a terrible way they called it, but it was a way, <laughs> it was big in the emo and scene community. I've heard, would, yeah, I remember. Uh, it was a way to get a bunch of friends and you, people would join the whore train and you would have these levels and you would put headshots and you would code it. And every time you clicked someone's name, it would go add friend, add friend, add friend. It's like a Snapchat streaks kind of a thing. <sighs> Matt, I- But I would make those all the time. I'm, I'm not picturing what you're talking about, but I know I've seen it and I just wish I could see an image of- Whore trains. Of, of this. And that's because what I've, they were called. It was such an aggressive name, but yeah. I was like, I wanted to get popular on yeah. MySpace. And Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million members. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. You pick more than or less than at two, two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. And the big game is right around the corner. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to turn every game-changing moment into 100x your money with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into $1,000. Want to play alongside some of Price Picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? You can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Price Picks community each week. And Price Picks is super simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. You're also going to get quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Price Price picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. They also offer weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. And what's really cool is Price Picks now offers Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this football season. You guys know the Super Bowl is coming up, so this is the best time to play. I know Heath and I are going to be on this mm -hmm. for the whole weekend, so make sure to get on there. Go to pricepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. That's right, baby. All you got to do is go to pricepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code UNFILTERED for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy, baby. Thank you, Price Picks, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. And, and have fun at the Super Bowl. We had things like Omegle, like that we should have not been on Omegle. Justin TV. Or Chat Roulette. Oh, like, my, but we, my, me and my friends had so much fun <clears> on that. Of course, yeah. So, like, we did those things, but nowadays it's so much easier to track, like, and, and have like Reddit pages on like Kit. Well, I'm just, I have like specific examples of like people who are exploiting their kids and there's Reddit pages about them that are just like, mm -hmm. just disturbing. And she's still continuing to post. And the saves are like 50,000 saves of her kid. I'm like, That's this crazy. is- yeah, it's creepy. So That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. So I get it. Like there's just, there's like, you have to use your best judgment as a parent. Don't give your kid the phone. Yeah, Mariah, we, we we don't know, but it's actually a bunch of babies saving it because they just love the baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're turning that off right now. I like, can't so believe funny. I can't believe thirteen years old is the age. That's way too young. Well, That's yeah. ridiculous. To have, to have an account, to have a TikTok and an Instagram. No, and not it my says, kids. Uh, girl, also, TikTok girl, get to class. Use, doesn't use any age <laughs> verification tools either wait, for signing wait, up. I forget. What? What grade they are you to. in thirteenth? In thirteenth grade? High school. <laughs> no, eighth grade going eighth, into ninth, ninth grade. Yeah. yeah. But 
then like when I'm thinking about when I was eighth to ninth, I, I was, was pre- I felt old. I like, was I chronically felt, online. Like I yeah, knew what everything I was. Really, was. Oh Heath, yeah, I was on yeah. my computer. I was on my computer every day. I was on the I was computer playing paint, like still doing like paint. And yeah, pinball. I was. Yeah, I Heath, didn't like do anything. You were on. Oh, your parents. Your your. Parents I had have, I had child lock on TV on the computer. I didn't have a phone, <laughs> and then yeah. when I did get a phone. It did not have internet. Yeah. Now, now look at but, you. you know, look, at, look at you now, though. It, <laughs> you made it a career. Yeah, I, <laughs> child lock was set on the TV. Like cable, <laughs> you could not get. You could not bypass that at all. I felt like that was heavier security than like that, like the White House. <laughs> yeah. Like there, you were not getting through that. Like, and what would piss me off is it would like somehow block something that would be normal and i would be getting so mad that it was just like yeah for some anything. well yeah you couldn't you couldn't watch uh like mtv or something right yeah like, like spongebob sometimes <laughs> no uh it was just like random things that i was like why why is this block like <laughs> and I'm, then you would go to like your grandpa's house and you would pass the adult entertainment on the guy <laughs> and it would be like big breasted <laughs> jimbos and you're like what just, is that yeah just hot the, tub, the titles mama. and isn't it surprising that they would even Title it that on the on the guy channel. Yeah. Just title title it like adult Pro, adult content usually or something. Usually that's what it said on the the parental thing. And even my grandpa's not subscribing to those channels, but you would just <laughs> see them. Big bony <laughs> bust, busted busty cops. <laughs> Three. I did <laughs> I did see a really funny clip though, like about the whole child lock thing for phones. It was uh Joe Rogan talking about how he has one for his child and they wanted to like watch something so the kid called the mom in to put in the child lock uh password to unlock it for temporary to watch something but what they did was they did a screen recording of the mom coming in and putting in the code Uh, real quick so it opened then they saved that whole screen recording and could go in and see what the that's the problem these kids are three steps ahead of you that is that is genius genius i would never as an adult ever Think of that. And ever. there's also a master gesture so thing smart. where you you know you can record a gesture yeah. on a thing. There's that. So if you click the side button three times, it will perform the master gesture yeah. and it will do the code uh, as well. I'm getting my kids jitterbug. Dun, 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 <laughs> Get dun, them the jitterbug, dun, dun, jitterbug. You can text three friends. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the, <laughs> the jitter- jitterbug. The jitterbug. There's a, a what? Three Firefly, bu- yeah, too. The, yeah. It was like the three buttons. One yeah. cu- for mom, one for dad, one for- uh, They still make it. Grandma. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Was it even the police? No, I think the police no. was. Emergency was your parents. Yeah, like, you you, got, you got mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. That would suck. Imagine, imagine like, as, like as a kid, you just really needed help. I mean, I don't know why you'd be by yourself, but what if you, that's why you got the jitterbug on you. Yeah, but I'm and also d- like, imagine you're the, you're the one kid, everyone got the iPhone and you got the <laughs> fucking jitterbug. Like people w- don't forget. Like, <laughs> people will remember that for years. But you know what, I, but, but I'm going to be the really awesome dad. Yeah, where- you'll be like, let's do TikToks together. <laughs> Blow up my account. We can, I'll split you the brand. Deal. I'll I'll say I'll put it in a college fund for you. Oh but no! You have friend. to you have to figure out a way to make it fun, where you can do it with your kid, or your kid can't wait to do it with you. My kid can fill fun. me as much as they want if they like. You're, you're gonna, but you'll let your kid have like a full access, like full access phone where they can do whatever they want. I don't know. I get so conflicted it's where weird. I'm like, yeah, it, there's like uh, what I find inappropriate, and then at the same time, I want to encourage my kids to tinker with things. I feel like the life I have being involved in social media was because yeah. I was so into MySpace and all of that stuff. Uh, I wouldn't be where I'm at if I wasn't tinkering yeah. with the world. If It all comes down to my kid's maturity. If I have a little shit kid, I'm like, I don't even trust you on the internet. Yeah. I might have another one where I'm like, you're pretty like, you know, their, you know, their algorithm is all butterflies and rainbows. Like, you know, it's going to be <laughs> like, they're not getting anything weird. Yeah. On their, on their, with their interests. As you guys know, Accelerator is the proud sponsor of this podcast because it is the best energy drink. Mm. Ener- <laughs> it's the best energy drink in the entire world, baby. And that's right, baby. You know, we only do the best here on Unfiltered and in our daily life. So I, I'm, let me tell you, Cherry Ice Pop, banging boy. Dude, that's literally my favorite flavor. They also have another new flavor out right now. It's Tropical Punch. Mm. And whoo, it is a blast of paradise 
all up in your mouth. And it doesn't matter what flavor you choose, you're going to get zero sugar per can, zero artificial flavors, zero artificial color, and zero chemical preservatives. If you ask me, that sounds like the healthiest thing you could ever put in your body. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you're still getting your natural caffeine, you're getting some ocean minerals, and plant-based thermogenic. Oh, and you know, I love the ocean, baby. Mm -hmm. Right now, Accelerator is offering $5 off your next Amazon order of Accelerator. Just put your favorite flavor of Accelerator in your cart and use the promo code 5Accelera at checkout, spelled Five, like the number five, A C C E L E R A. At checkout, baby. <laughs> I got you. I got you. And just to let you know, on Amazon, they have five flavors. They got cherry, ice pop, tropical punch, rocket pop, island guava, and peach paradise, baby. So try, you try go the, get try some. Try the rocket pop, too. Thank you, Accelerator, for being the best damn drink in the entire world. And mm. thank you for sponsoring this podcast. We love you so much. And get out there, baby. Go get your accelerator. Get accelerated and take a hold of your day. Feel recharged. Feel blessed. Come up. Show out. Charge me up. Show enough. Plug me in. Get me going. Blast me. I thought you were going to say, pop that. Pop that. <laughs> pop that rock and pop. <laughs> Did you hear the new emojis are coming? Oh, no. Another round. What's, what, 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 what are, let's see the best ones. What are the best ones we got coming? Um. Okay. I'll, you can pull them up. We have a head shaking and a head nodding. And how oh, is that just now happening? I like that. I like that one. Uh, I, like, but I like both of them. And then we have a lime for the first time. Is that a time. mushroom? Uh, yes, which we already have an and a mosquito mushroom. And baby, but... we, know why, we know why they did that. Because some of us are users. Oh, I thought you were about to say a cultural thing. <laughs> um, the lime one is crazy that that hasn't been out yet. We got a wheelchair. We got a little... Baby, we are all inclusive. I, I love where we're going with this. What's the... I don't get the chain. Uh, like the chain has been broken. Oh, like, uh, <laughs> like I am <laughs> free. Yeah, I am off the hook. Like, Mariah, moi, moi, blah. <laughs> I have never used any of those like family emojis. I just don't like the color pattern. I don't like the blue. It, it reminds me of a hospital. It yeah. looks like when it's, you first sign up for okay. Facebook. I've just never understood the floating Michael Jackson one in the top left corner. Like, <laughs> what is what is that? Oh, that's a uh, Gangnam style. Is that what I it is? I don't think that is. Oh, it's not. I always thought that was g- that's also Oopa, Korean. Gangnam style because oh, like, it's the it's the biggest YouTube video in the world. But it's a mustache Charlie Chaplin looking floating man. What emoji. is the floating emoji man? The levitating man was Walt Habisco. So this must be a Japanese thing. Oh. The logo portrays a man in a no, black it's not. suit. He's a fictional character. Was based on a photograph of Peter Tosh, a former member of the Whalers. Walt got his name from an old American bowling shirt. Oh, well, I, someone paid for that. Yeah. Literally, I've never heard of any of those words. I've never heard of Walt Jabisco. Who was it? On the Morning Toast, they were talking about how they still, there's not a redhead emoji. Like the redheads yeah. still have not is, gotten there, Is there a, not? Wait, I thought you could change the hair color for all of them. There's no redhead. You could change it's the skin you, color, not the hair color. You can go like blonde, brown. Oh, I thought there was redhead. Black, head. but- uh, wow! Are, are you got your emojis when you do the hand? Does it reflect your skin tone? If I'm feeling a little tan that day, I do the darker one. If, oh, I, if, okay, if I'm okay. feeling like a little pale, I'll do the. What do your parents use? Or like, what does Hadai use? Is she? It, oh, she d- just the scarf emoji. Oh, okay. She does, but like, if she does a hand, is it a different skin tone? Than uh, I don't you? think she uses emojis. She she's a very like dry like. There's like no emotion I think in, my, in te- her text. My mom uses the bitmojis more than anything. Oh. I'm like, wait, what's, what's oh, bitmojis like again? That's the avatar. It's the avi- fo- yeah. Like she created her own. I'm like, like oh, get re- take like her phone away. Like take her. her phone away. Thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, are those like automatic? Like they are, they're made in the text app or you have to like, is that an app where she goes to and gets it made and then she saves it's, it's, it? They're in your phone. It's like in the you- keyboard. Like. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just, I probably you never create, just gotten like, your there character yet. and then it just like makes all of the different ones. Wait, did you know when you FaceTime, you can be all these characters? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've mistakenly just, clicked was, some of them. Yeah, me too. That was crazy. And then I'm trying to figure out what words trigger it. The thumbs up that just pops up in yes, the screen. Yes, balloons or like the pop celib- up. So I was talking to my sister and we I said a sentence and these balloons came out of nowhere. And I was like, what words did I just use? Yeah, I was what like, triggered it? celebrate, fun, yay, excited. I was trying to do my hands. I have no idea what triggers them. I couldn't get it to do it again too. I don't think it... Wait, you're talking about like the laser one or the confetti for just the text? No, no, in, no, no. In, FaceTime. In, FaceTime. in FaceTime. Sometimes like a thumbs up thing will just pop up like while you're talking. It, it must have been it must but have I'm been not a touching mistake. The phone. On, no, no, I'm saying on, on the other end. It must have been like a mistake. But we're not touching it. Yeah, it's it's definitely voice activated. 
But that kind of worries me that like, I, I feel like they wouldn't want FaceTime to be like a voice activated thing. Cause that just means it just, it kind of reminds us that it's like somehow just being recorded or yeah, they're just actively listening yeah. to it. So I feel like that's just not a good idea for them to do that. Oh, triggers heart shape using both hands, thumbs up, two thumbs up, single thumbs down, two thumbs down. Whoa. What? There's no way that works. Oh, the balloons. Victory. Peace sign with, with one hand. I must have did. I probably did this. You're not a peace sign kind of. If we were, gal. if we're sarcastic, like. Oh. Uh, rock sign. Imagine you trying to figure that out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really scary. How does it know? You're Can we test it after? Can we test it uh, for the unwind? Yeah. I mean, it's probably like the same of like on a TikTok filter. But I'm like, like but that's like I've been on Facetime for. Forever, and I've never, I feel like I've done it on, no, it's usually just my face. Do you remember when they made the update where they can adjust your eyes and make it look like you're looking directly at the yeah. person instead of at the screen? Genius. And I think it's still there, but you never can tell. Mm -hmm. That's such a good idea. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Dipsy. We use our phones for everything at this point, but did you know that you could use it for some sexy me time? But don't worry, your fantasies are safe with Dipsy. Just don't forget to use your headphones. Ever find yourself craving a getaway from the routine of daily life? Mm -hmm. Indulge in a steamy fantasy world filled with hundreds of sexy stories on Dipsy. Designed to turn you on whatever your fantasy is. Shh. Dipsy's an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. Dipsy brings scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters. Ow. Discover stories about second chance romances, adventurous vacation flings, and hot and heavy hookups. And there's a growing library of fantasy series with <sighs> vampires, Oof. Greek gods, and fairy smut to explore the bounds of your pleasure. And if you can't get enough of that hot, steamy content, there's new content every week. So in between listening to your favorite stories again and again and again, you can always find something new to explore. They also have soothing sleep stories, wellness sessions, and sexy written stories to read. Let Dipsy be your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, relax and unwind, or even heat things up with a partner. If you're a big old coffee bean and you're listening to this episode right now, for you guys, Dipsy's offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash unfiltered. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories dot com slash unfiltered. One more time, just so you don't forget. Dipsy stories dot com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Dipsy, for sponsoring this podcast and getting us all off. That made me want to take a dip in my my pool. With nothing on. <laughs> Ooh, you dirty little thing. Did you read about that? Yeah, dude. <laughs> David's getting his Apple uh, Vision Pros today. He pre-ordered it the second it came out. Oh, or so the second it was available. Arriving yeah. today. I've seen, it seems like, I've watched like a little bit of I Justine and Marcus Brownlee's like reviews yeah. of it. I think I think it's completely, um, I think it's something where everyone's going to buy or it's going to be such a hot thing and it's going to be immediately just put on the side. Just mm. like, just like the, just like everything else that we've had. It's just, it's too um invasive, uh, not invasive. What's the word? It's Cumbersome. just, it's just too much. Yeah. Like it's not small enough, tight, like simple enough. Yeah. It's a whole like thing. I, it's yeah. Like it's a whole thing you got to put on your head. On. It's just not comfortable. It doesn't seem comfortable to me. I feel like I'm about to go to big bear. I'm about to ski it. And when, and like, to me, I'm already uncomfortable when I have to put all that shit on before I go ski. Why do I want to sit in my living room? It's also like and a pound. I think it's heavy. Is it really? I heard that it's it's a little heavy where after a while you're like, this doesn't like, your head has never your been used to sorry. having something this heavy. And $3,500 is, is ridiculous. It's $3,500? I thought it was $2,500. That's ridiculous. And the games don't even look that good. I don't know. I saw some clip of I Justine and she was like DJing, <laughs> like pulling out vinyl records and mix it. And I was like, Oculus looks much better than that. Like... I'm like, I think, these yeah. aren't worth it. Let me see. I put it on. <laughs> just immediately just goes to you like, 
like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. But, it's so ooh. interesting. But does the music come into the? It plays somewhere. I think it has like it. a like a some to- sort of like Bluetooth speaker. Okay, I care. It has to. Right, but like, can I? If you have it on, can I hear what you're doing? I guess it's similar to the. They Oculus. probably have like transparent, like the they have different settings, just like AirPods would. Okay. I think they're scanning your eyes. Yeah, it's all <laughs> retina, retina scans. It's like clear. Hmm. It's clear when you go to the uh, what's it called the airport, Mariah, and I they scan they your, your eyes. I think they're trying to scan everybody's eyes. Right. Did we? Did they we have for... enough information off my phone. That amount of detail <laughs> I put in my phone. Mm-hmm. That's why pretty that's much. That's why FaceTime. They were making it look like you're looking at the camera, so they can scan it. Did we talk? <laughs> <laughs> did we talk about how you can't do the clear eye scan on the podcast? What do you mean? The I airport don't... thing. Yeah. So we have. I have trouble with it every time. It it won't recognize her eyes because of the color of her eyes. Oh, oh it, cha- it changes colors. They they have to like. Yeah, I'm not like a pick me, but my eyes change. <laughs> my they, eyes change from like your, your green to change. brown. Yeah, why would they, they be? A they pick try me? to scan the because eyes like three times, <laughs> and then they finally come over and they're like, "Okay, you have to do the fingerprint." Why does Clear do it based on eyes when they should? The way our phone can unlock it by just knowing what our face looks like, Clear should just do that. Maybe because the system. Because I think Clear has been out for. Uh, before like face ID, gain uh, weight, lose weight. Yeah, your eyes pretty much stay the same. I feel like. Yeah, right? your eyes always except for would be except the same. for yours, pick me. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I was like, I'm not gonna be a pick me because people make fun of girls that are like, no, my they change color like, like depending, depending on what on I'm like- wearing. But that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what does what color do your uh, eyes change from? <clears throat> They're hazel, so they look greener. I think my dad has those eyes where it changes from like hazel to uh, like a brown. So, yeah. it's like brown or green. Yeah. So they they look darker, they look lighter. Yeah. Yeah, and then I got the shit stain. Mm, um, I don't me know. too. Yeah, I don't know where I got that. But from. yeah, your your family has like blue blue eyes. My grand grandparents have blue eyes. My brother has green yeah. eyes. Blue eyes. It does. It looks like gray. It is. It's a. It's not like a. Uh, it's very crystallized bl- grayish blue. Yeah. Yeah. Some people have just like pure like. Yeah. Mine are you, like edgy. Like you know what eyes scare me, or you know what eyes I always see. I don't, I feel like on guys especially where every time I see, it, I just can't take them seriously. Is like green eyes. Have you ever seen like guys on TikTok and they're just like. And they they green, know, yeah, like they're like relying green green on like, their like, eyes to be like the money maker. <laughs> yes. Like, they're really looking. <laughs> Uh, what are we looking for? I think, think it, gr- I think it's like that if you have green eyes with dark hair. Because my brother has green eyes with blonde hair. No, he's bald. Well, now he's bald. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's bald. <laughs> Honey, she he's cooked bald. That. She, she ate his ass up with that. He's bald. <laughs> he bald. He's all eyes. Um, but he used to have like just really long, like just bleach blonde hair um, with green eyes. And it was... It wasn't intimidating at all. Like it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like he could never, uh, <laughs> you know. It was just like well, you were beautiful. <laughs> like it was just really pretty. Or like the it's like the mixed guys with green eyes. Like they know they won, and yeah. They, yeah. they're showing yeah. they're showing yeah. it. They're like <laughs> that's that's what I meant to say. Not not um that you can't take him seriously. It's just that you know they they, they know they, they know they what won. they're doing. Yeah, yeah. like they the know. dark hair, like the tan skin, and the green eyes. Yeah, and and then most likely perfect white teeth yeah that's why i bleach my hair because like i feel like i need something <laughs> okay. white on my body i'm just spice it up <laughs> <laughs> i want what do you do for coachella one day, this year one day i just want to it's coming hey guys some of them are looking really good realistic the color yeah they I'm, got oh, better i like enhancers on like if you have a color but like people have like brown eyes and they want it to look like blue i'm like, <laughs> you can, you like can i don't know came early like but all respect if that's what makes you happy but like i know you're wearing it just like, you can see the outline it's not like filled in properly like, it doesn't Are you doing anything crazy for your hair for coachella you always do something either bleach blonde a color oh just i'm just gonna bleach probably bleach I don't do anything crazy anymore. I think I'm skipping Coachella this year. Yeah? Wow. Good I think you. I'm going to go to South Korea, Patricia and I. Really? Well, because like I- Is that possible? I raised possible? the lineup what, uh, to go there. No, North Korea. North Korea is the one that's the one that's to. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to North like, Korea. I was like, wait. Coachella. Well, like, I don't know. The lineup I'm not like that crazy about. And then I started looking at the numbers like, oh my God, you go buy tickets. You got to buy the house. And it's still like, I've done Coachella now like nine times. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know. I just would rather- Spend that money and go Do there rather yeah. than also if we still go to Coachella and then to South Korea, that's a 
more expensive year of yeah. traveling. So I don't know unless a, a brand opportunity comes up, but yeah, I'm planning. It's on. Not, and it's not like, I feel like it's a good excuse to take, like take advantage of like everybody, like, you know, no work is being done. Yeah. Like, and it's kind of fun. All the content time. is yeah. still like kind of the same yeah. stuff. Every and it might year. be exciting seeing it from the outside perspective. Yeah. Like, I just don't feel like I'm going to have that much FOMO. I don't know, but yeah. we, I don't know. Patricia, I brought it up one day. I was like, what if we just skipped and did Korea? She goes, yes. So. Yeah, I genuinely don't think it'll be like some like a big FOMO fest this no. year. They're still trying to sell tickets. That's crazy to me. That's insane. Normally it sells out that day. Wait, you don't think that they maybe bought more tickets or they have more tickets available? Or they made it bigger? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I can't wait until we're talking about Coachella like we talk about Woodstock. Like my parents yeah. are like, remember yeah. Woodstock? Like we're going to be like, remember Coachella? But some, I feel like something crazy. Oh, horrible. Careful. Don't. Just horrible. I love looking at past years of like who's performed and like seeing how. I, I know the, we did it one time. I want to go back and do it again. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. As you guys know, there is a lot of stuff coming up this summer. We got concerts. We got festivals. We got DJs. We got everything. We got baby. games. We got so much. And you know where we're going to get those tickets from, baby. SeatGeek. And with over 28 million downloads. It's no wonder that SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. As you guys know, there are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more, just like I said. And also, we've got a big one coming up that mm -hmm. I know we're going to go to Coachella, baby, and you can get them right on SeatGeek, baby. And there's also artists like Drake, the Jonas Brothers, Post Malone, the 1975, all on tour right now, and you're not going to want to miss it. And baby, this is on our first rodeo. You know how mm -hmm. easy it is to shop at SeatGeek. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. And each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means it's a good deal, and red means it's not the best deal. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Settle down. You know we came through for you guys. Use code UNFILTERED for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure to click Click the link in our description box below to download the app today. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this podcast, hooking us all up with tickets and getting us getting us out and about. Yeah, it makes me want to hook up with you. All right. Oh, I got a fake tooth now after, you know, I, I got my little prize possession right here, my fake yeah, tooth. You're still, like your space still rotting in its uh, in its case. But um it looks it looks so like it looks crooked. All right, just look it's at not my real. Tooth. Oh, doesn't it oh look like gosh, doesn't babe. it look like the tooth is should be like straight, but it's let me see it. It's 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 turned like it looks like it just spun <laughs> in oh, place. Did your, they put it? Your, in no, upside, no, it's glued. It looks like they put it upside down. But doesn't oh. it look like it's like this? It's I think probably moving and it may fall out too. Like do not. No, 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 no. It's been like that. It oh. was like that since day one. I think that was just the way it like he wants it. It's just temporary. Don't chew. It any. just feels like there's an M and M. Mm. right here <laughs> and i'm just and and because it's uh the what, what he did in the tooth was he didn't um it's not just one what he did was he had to shave the other two down one of them was also uh, was already working out so that was easy for him but he had to sh shave the other tooth down so he could put this like bridge yeah three tooth bridge over it which now i can't like get into my gaps on that tooth so whenever i get a floss i forget and i go through and it just completely snaps in half oh. so i have to like with a tooth that like get from oh, you have top. to like thread it. Those yeah. ones. It sucks. Um, it's like hurting every day. Like I, I feel still feel numb. And I told you, did I I don't know if I said it on the podcast, but you know that I um Your obsess? The doc yeah, the doctor told me that like if I just like let it go for really? another like three months, I could have just like died, which is crazy to me. <laughs> That's crazy. I looked at him like that's insane, right? He's like, yeah, it's pretty insane. I, like a lot of people die like that. It's just like it's not like it's not heavily um, told to people that like, hey, when if you have a if you have something wrong in your tooth, you have a abscess, just get it checked out because there's times where it doesn't hurt, right? It gets to the point where it just stops hurting, kind of like me. Yeah, you right? Remember, like push through. And remember, like, it like hurt and then it just stops hurting. Yeah, that's when it's that's when it's like really dangerous. That's when it's deep. It's deep and it's just like it's just making its way up to your brain. Insanity. Oh. <laughs> I would imagine going out like that. Mm -mm. How'd your how'd your son die? Root canal gone. Just went up to his brain. Didn't wake up. Mm. Glad you. It's embarrassing. This. Like dying of a peanut allergy. It's, it's embarrassing. It's, it's it's embarrassing. Somebody actually recently just died from a peanut allergy. 
Felt really bad, man. Was it like how did they not have an EpiPen near them or like it died? Oh, I saw that. It was a misinformed um, label on food. It didn't mention peanuts. Oh wow! On a on packaging, the family suing. Yeah. Well, do you know what it was? A cookie or something like that? I don't remember. Um, And then um, restaurant I get. Keith Lee almost had like a really bad accident. Uh, It was like a shellfish allergy, I believe. Um, one of his like cooking or like eating videos from like the restaurants. Oh yeah. They, he like specifically asked, he's like, this wasn't cooked with anything that had like shellfish. Right. And they're like, no, we, we clean out and change things. And sure enough, he had to like be rushed to the hospital. And yeah, a couple of people right now, they're saying don't eat oysters in California. And I think Texas too, because they get a lot of the oysters from the Baja Peninsula of Mexico and they're having the warmest waters that they've had in a very long time. And then that's causing, is that because of the Baja blast? Uh, I I think it's the the El Nino. Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) The wind coming in from the Southeastern seaboard. There we go. Right there. Pulling in shell uh, shellfish is uh, like crab and shrimp and lobster, right? That's shellfish. Yeah. Any, any fish crustaceans. With a, crustaceans. Yes. So interesting that it's, but like, but salmon is fine when you have a shellfish allergy. Mm-hmm. Right. Cause that's, that's like, what is but it? Like Mike, Mike, you know, he keeps kosher. He can't have any shellfish as well. Like part of his religion. Um, it's just so interesting. They're like, they're, like, some of our are viewed it? as like yeah, crustaceans or bugs or like, they yeah. are like a different type of species of, uh, uh yeah. It would be like it having, is a religious thing. It's, um, they're viewed as like just, the lowest of the, the low. bottom yeah. feeders. Like. Yeah. Are you are you are you allergic to anything? Bullshit. F- food wise. <laughs> yeah. No. Huh. Okay. Are you? Mm, no. Not, are you? Mm-mm. I'm not. Yeah. No. No. And I've never either? done an allergy test, but I neither, I, yeah. I've never had like a nothing where I've, I've there was one time I got hives on my stomach, which is pretty bad. But I had I feel like I have a feeling it was like detergent that like never got washed completely off my yeah, shirt. Yeah, that happened. But that's like the only time I've ever gotten an allergic reaction. But like I always I'm always thankful for that. Like every time someone yeah. asks me any allergies, I'm just like, I s- always say it and I, I I appreciate it. I think my mom's allergic to penicillin. Ooh, that's kind of serious. Pen- or like it, penicillin. Wait, penicillin, an, like, uh, yeah. An antibiotic? Yeah, I think she's allergic to penicillin. So oh, she I, has I, to, I went, I went. Oh, insulin. <laughs> well, you know, like diabetes. Cut, cut it out. No, you were saying you were going to write it down. That's your pen. Yeah, you were yeah, going to yeah, write yeah. that down. Every time I hear penicillin, my brain, I have to go, that's not insulin. Yeah. Every time I, I hear think, it. I think Florida. Because peninsula. Am I thinking peninsula. Of a, wait. Just, oh my gosh, she can't be around water. <laughs> <laughs> Three sides or more. Just, 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 <laughs> wait, or am I thinking of amoxicillin? Amoxicillin is also an antibiotic. That's an antibiotic right? too, yeah. Yeah. And penicillin is an antibiotic as well. It's yeah. Some sort of medicine. Okay. Patricia's allergic to strawberries, but it's not like she she's going to go to the hospital, but she'll break out. But she like dances with it. Like, I love people well, that are allergic, but they do it because they, they like they it do. so much. Why are people dancing with their allergies like it's that? It's kind of exciting. Yeah. We were at an airport and we went to a Chili's and she was like, I'm going to have this strawberry mojito. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. She we're about to get on a strawberries? And the waitress was like, honey, he's looking out for you. I wouldn't get it. Look, she's allergic to strawberries. She can have strawberry flavored things, but like real it, strawberries, real strawberries. But I'm like, D- still don't, even if it's like strawberry syrup, don't. Take it. Like, mm-hmm. let's not risk it. It's crazy that there's so many other options. She's just like, ooh, mm. strawberry it's like, mojito. There's it's, a, it's like the forbidden fruit. Like, yeah, you kind of want it. Ugh. But it's like, yeah, she's not going to die. There's a, there's a risk. Like, am I going to get it? Am I not? I Just the thing is, she'll like do it. And then she's like, oh, my God, my hive. So like, <laughs> I'm like, now we're talking about this for the next two hours. And Why I'm didn't like, you stop me? <laughs> yeah, it's. Good. I think I might be allergic to mango. Because when I eat mango, my mouth gets super tingly. No, Heath, you're, you you're are allergic. allergic. You're to, allergic to dark tequila. Yeah. Dark, te- that's right. Dark oh, tequila. Yeah, yeah, I was. I talk about you and your tequila allergy pretty often. Like it's, people, it's, when they bring up tequila, like, oh, it breaks me out. I go, I have a friend. It's dark tequila. Yeah. Yeah. I always... I always forget that I have that. I always think about that though. Every time dark tequila comes out, I always... I think just like, because like I avoided it for so long and like I was aware of it. I just like... I guess I think about like food allergies as like eating something, but uh, did you yeah. ever look up what it is about dark tequila that I think it's something with the uh, the aging process in the barrel? Oh right, because there's like steel barrels or it's something like that. Like the the uh, but there's two different types. There's añejo and reposado. Correct. Um, I can't remember which one. I can't do. I think I've seen like clear reposado because reposado is like smoky, right? That's mezcal. Oh, shit. What do I know? When you order tequila at a bar, 
I know you don't drink, but when you go like, what kind of tequila do you want? You go just the house tequila. Is the house tequila normally dark tequila? It's, or it's, silver? it's, it's, it's normally silver. It's normally house silver. tequila. Yeah. Normally okay. silver. Yeah. I never, I just would always say clear, like no matter what. Yeah. Um, I'm always ordering for Patricia, but it depends how much like I like her in the moment. But I'll and be I've, like Casamigos. So I'm just like, just the house. <laughs> I've all, and, and I've honestly, I have not been ordering uh, anything house when I go to a bar. I'll just get like a specific brand that I just know of. Because house, house tequilas, it's normally like just the cheapest, cheapest mm -hmm. options they have. And normally those cheap, cheap options like are the ones that give you like those like serious headaches. Oh my gosh. Nice Yesterday, I was just telling Heath, I know I was never a drinker. But I did like have drinks. Yeah. But I told him, I was like, it's almost been a year since I even had a sip of alcohol. Like yeah. even when I wasn't drinking, if someone was like, can you try this? I would like sip it, like fine, whatever. Yeah. But I said, I haven't even had a sip. And I was just like, not it was proud cool. of myself. It's not like I was an alcoholic, but like, I was just like, cool, whatever. Yeah. Last night when we were out, I said, could I get a Shirley Temple? And she looked at me, the bartender, and she was like, like no alcohol. I was like, yes, thank you. And she just looked at me and it took her like the whole night to make me my Shirley Temple. I freaking took a sip and it was alcohol. Oh, Whoa. I, I think I she like, like thought she was kind of being nasty. Like, yeah, no, like almost like a sarcastic. Uh, me and Todd were ordering Diet Cokes all night. I, it shouldn't have been a problem for her to. to she to was make that. so confused. Maybe, maybe what she, if you were maybe she liked you. And then that's what I'm you saying. Like broken your sobriety. That's like, like when Heath and Kristen were doing the bet who can't eat meat the yeah, longest. And, I and then they gave me the wrong burrito. They gave him a meat burrito when he said no. And he took a bite. Damn. I didn't swallow it. I spit it back out. Cause I was like, I just said hours ago that I didn't take a sip right of before. alcohol. It's, and it's weird. It's funny. Cause we're not pissed that there's alcohol in it. We're pissed that I could have been somebody that was like a sober and I've been or sober. Allergic. Right. Yeah, or allergic. What if that triggered me to like start up again? To, yeah, <laughs> and then we could have started drinking. Like, Forget it, I'm time. so excited for Coachella. I'm going yeah. off. I'm yes. Going off. <laughs> right, we should, Ugh. since I'm not drinking and you're not drinking, we should like, let's let's ease into it for Coachella. <laughs> let's see who could go the longest without it. <laughs> Be well, careful with those damn, uh, those metal little water bottles they give you at Coachella when you turn that, off, like you what know, metal, old, what metal, like the aluminum ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you open those, that sharp, steel, that sharp metal. I it was my first drink at Coachella, and it cut my finger open like that. Uh, what? Just be careful when you open up those bottles. At oh. Coachella. Now I'm always like, you open it. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Better Help. A common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy to be right. But sometimes the best ones happen when both people put in the work to make them great. And therapy can be a place to work through the challenges you face in all of your relationships, whether with friends, work, your significant other, or anyone else. We all know it's a tough time right now. We always want someone to talk to that's not our mm -hmm. friends, that's not our family, that's not our boyfriend and girlfriends. We, we just, just want, want that unbiased, you know? Exactly. Talk to someone. Tell me what I need to hear. Who's good at this? Who went to school for this? They, mm -hmm. are, they, they, they are knowledgeable in this field and they can talk to you and they can give you good advice so if you're if you're thinking about starting therapy you better give better help a try and the best part is that it's entirely online it's designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule you could do uh text messages phone calls video chats whatever you feel comfortable with and it's super simple. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. So if you're ready to become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not, all you got to do is visit betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath today, and you're going to get 10% off your first month. Exactly. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast and helping all of our listeners. We really love you. Um, what's, your, what's your plan? Like, what, what have you been doing this week? Like, what? what's your... What have I been doing this week? Did well, you we, celebrate this morning? Uh, with Groundhog Day? Yeah. It would have been at 4.30 in the morning. So, no. I feel like you but used I'm to wake a, up for okay, it, though. If you guys want to come, I'm having a small Groundhog get-together at my place today from 8 to 10. It's a pre-game. Do you have a are live there, Groundhog? Yeah, are there Groundhogs there? You uh, should have, like, a... Like we a, I bought a bunch of Groundhog de decorations. Matt, I think here's Patricia's the thing. making What would stuff. a Kardashian... When you think about a party, what would a Kardashian do? They would have <laughs> a live take it And then area. scale by... It's scale by... Not, it's scale by, like... 
down by 90%. I should have played for Groundhog Day better this year because I realized a week before I go, oh my God, it's on a Friday. I got to do something. Yeah. But I would have ordered a bunch of fake turf and rolled it throughout the house. Oh. Just grass. <laughs> and like put like holes, holes in it. Each hole has like a different, yeah, a different only, game. by a whack-a-mole. Yeah, like. only ground games. Whack-a-mole twister, like anything on the uh, floor. No I furniture. Should Matt, you should hire her for your next party. Please, uh, I, I would have done year, it. It's on a Sunday, but... I'm, my favorite day of the week. I would have done it. So what was the, what was the, it's a early spring. Wow. Wow. What does that mean? Uh, that it's, uh, it, that's usually the more celebratory one. People always want it to be an early spring. So it's going to be a good year uh, in the Punxsutawney family. Punxsutawney family. They uh, believe that just, well, he's, but the thing that's crazy to me is he's only been right 40% of the time in the last 10 years. And it's like, scientifically. If I was only hey, right 40% of the time, it would be like, okay. I wish I put money on it this year. Last night, there was a guy who was like about to bet. People and he goes, bet on it? Yeah. And this is my theory, and I hate like spoiling it. I genuinely think it's it's the morale of the day because it's on a Friday. They're going to have like 20, 30,000 people there. They want to give those people a good day. Because mm. I was there on a Saturday, and it was an early spring. If it's on a Wednesday or a Tuesday and hardly anybody's there, it's a late winter. My theory. Mm. Are y'all going to the Super Bowl? <laughs> No, I, I would love to. I just well, it's like I'm always back and forth. Like in my head, like that'd be so fun. But it, like I just feel like it would just be so chaotic. You can like you can't get any drinks. You can't get any food. You can't like you, it's just well. I bet the I bet it's pretty good the service. But it's I can't imagine spending like twenty thousand dollars for like a ticket. And I gotta be like I gotta get to this damn venue. Yeah. Like, imagine the traffic the and you're like I've missed the first quarter and I've already spent twenty thousand dollars. Did, did you see the group chat where Jonah was like, "Hey, anybody know where you can buy a box for the Super Bowl?" We're like, "Sure, Jonah." What do you mean? Do, do you have Do you have two million dollars to put down? Yeah, let, let me text Bezos and box. see if he's got a. <laughs> it was such a wild text, and Salver, I thought he was like trolling us. I was like, bro, are you are you real? Are you for real right now? It's like the boxes that are down on the sideline. Have you seen them? They look like clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to, to, to me, those boxes so much more fun than the top ones. Like you're you like just being can't right see on the field. You can't see much. That's the only thing. You can't see much, but like you're in it. It just it, like to me, it feels like you're in the game. Seven hundred. It's seven hundred thousand dollars for the box, but I'm always. Oh, that's it. Is that well, that's what I saw on TikTok. <laughs> that, Jonah. Yeah. Okay, Jonah. <laughs> and uh, but I'm always curious, like if you buy the box for seven hundred thousand dollars, does that include everyone's ticket to the game in that box? I think you yes, get a certain amount get of people. people. You get twenty, like a certain amount. Who would be those twenty people? Yeah, and if you're doing I, Super Bowl. I can't. Im I'm also so curious. Obviously, it's a bunch of rich people who are buying those seats. Yeah, are those people who are from Kansas City and from? Uh, no, you could be anybody. You could you could be a big brand. You could be. Yeah, I'm you're, just but always you're, you're saying like how many locals. So are, is it all the rich people in Kansas City are like buy the tickets, or is it all like the rich guys in Vegas who are like buy the tickets? And, and it's not only like you'll be surprised. There's a lot. A lot of them are already bought already every year, right? So. There's there's certain there's certain companies certain brands certain people that are just so loaded where like I'm buying it for every Super Bowl game don't get like I've I've already bought it out. I just want to perform at the halftime show. Really? Who, who would want you want? Who would you want to perform a, a side by? Usher. Like for what artist? I would have loved to do J Lo or Justin Bieber. Rihanna seems like it would have been cool. Oh, Rihanna would have been absolutely sick. Just that puffy been a jacket. Dream. Like, yeah. yeah. That choreo. Well, I mean that's like one of the best choreographers, but that. That was insane. Seeing I want to do. I want to do Coachella or Super Bowl. I, I just don't. I just don't think I'm going to be able to. I think Coachella is very. Um, is very. What's the word? Doable? Achievable. Doable, achievable for you. I thought you so to, yeah. too. It's just hard. Like I'm not signed with my agent anymore. I don't have that connection to audition. I, why do I feel like it's all through connection though? What if we? And most of it is. What if but, we try to find a party where somebody in that does Coachella? concerts is that and then we just like really try to get you connected and um and we try to get you in because i think it's all, all right. about connection i don't think it's like audition process or it's like it's, rarely it's, audition half, process. it's like half and half like if you know the choreographer and the choreographer's like i know dancers that are going to kill this let me do them with doja cat or whoever yeah. it just depends but i do know most of these choreographers so i'm just like would you do doja cat i know she no <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> She the devil, <laughs> Mariah. <up there>. <laughs> <laughs> it's the like one time I'm able to book something, and they're like, "But you gotta do Doja, Doja Cat." Like, she the devil. You we're actually gonna have you dressed as Satan Damn. coming on. <laughs> I'm just oh. 
But if Justin Bieber comes out with Usher this year, I'm, I bet he will. Maybe Justin be, Bieber posted in the studio. He did. Oh, and he hasn't performed in two years. I for sure I think he'll come out because he's also yeah he's <gasps> not on a he's not on a publicity tour for an album mm -hmm. or right, anything. Nothing. That's the time when you do the Super Mariah, Bowl. Mariah, I oh didn't know you were gosh. a big Justin Bieber. She's fan She's a believer. Like that. <gasps> Who's Justice Beaver? <laughs> Who's Justice Beaver? Justice Groundhog. Do you know that video of him where like Kid Leroy is like on stage and he's I on the side that and he's like he's drunk. drunk? He's like, and I don't know the words and that's crazy. He's so, I Yo, can't. he's so fucking cool sometimes, man. Yeah, he's just cool. Uh, yeah, so I, I, was in, I, was in, I was like in his music video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just, um, okay, perfect. But we should just um, like move on. You know, I don't want to. Oh, I, I always it. forget that. I'm the most obnoxious person at a yeah. party when that comes on. I was like, that's my old roommate. I know him. <laughs> if there's any Super Bowl connections, I was in the video. Watching this, please, I'll, I'll understudy. Even if I just learn the choreo and I don't go on stage, I. Come on. Zane, that's still hands on. on one of the coolest. I, I genuinely forget that I'm in that every time. Every time I hear the song, I'm just like, Wait, that's really that's really crazy. Does that song have like a billion views on it, YouTube? It's a very very popular song, and the music video is a very popular video too. I just love the credits. It's like I everyone's full names, and you're like credits. insane. All that. That. I hate the credits. They're getting all these like cringy moments. I was like, fuck, like just cringe <laughs> bloopers. I was like, God. I did audition. It is cool, I did audition for Justin Bieber's tour years ago. Got cut the first round. Mariah, you know, Mariah, you know what I should have done. Blocked. Mariah, you know what I should have done. I should have like snuck you into that 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 music video that, that was way too intimate i would have not no this is no it wasn't though this is like a tough question or, or you didn't get it at all what do you not think? even close i nailed the audition and not i didn't even get close. it guess, guess who, who did, did? yo yo ma's cousin, cousin will nepotism <laughs> anyway did you <laughs> when you when you didn't get it do you feel like it's not I wasn't the look they were looking for. Or do you feel like you didn't hit the beat as hard enough? Your style? What do you think um, is why you didn't get it? I, I don't think I'm good enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you're, you're good You're such enough. a good dancer. I can't imagine like looking at Mariah Dance going, not good enough. Nah, it just sucks Thanks. because there are hundreds of just dancers. Well, it was an 800-person audition, and they made everybody wear black and no other color, so you couldn't stand out. They probably didn't even look at me. I was in the back. They probably <laughs> didn't look at me, and they just picked the people that... The thing is, when we went to the audition... When they have 800 people and they're telling you what to wear, you know it's just for like footage. Uh, they already had their dancers. Oh, so, but yeah. it's still like a cool experience. In an audition, who what do you who do you look at? Do you look at like the person judging like Yeah. <laughs> or do you just like look just No, they above want them? they want eye contact. If you're looking if you look down at all or you're looking at yourself, they're like cut. And they want your they want your smile too. Like is there like a certain way facials you should, yeah. like look up because there's people that book it that aren't great dancers they can learn choreo but they're not fantastic it's this that sells it yeah just like is, um, it, is it hard not to like mouth the lyrics or do you just have to count in your head or are you like, <laughs> like <laughs> it's very it's very hard like you'll you'll throw in like some words once in a while but some it depends on who's judging some people hate lip syncing some people are fine with it it depends on who's judging mm. i feel like i wouldn't be able to control it i would be just lip syncing the entire it, thing yeah, Especially if you're dancing with it. Yeah. The only thing that saved me as at auditions was my tricks. Oh, oh like. But no there's people that wheel. hate tricks. There's people that are like, you're too old to be doing <laughs> lips. Take a card. <laughs> While well, everyone's doing the same routine, uh, Mariah comes just, they, just the other they, way. Just, <laughs> she has a hat, uh, pulls I'm a on rabbit a out. <laughs> I'm juggling. They're like, <laughs> okay, just, and let's see your tricks. Dun, 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 dun. Just a ball of smoke. <laughs> Poof. God, look. Where the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> behind the judges <laughs> just That's, levitates make him make him remember you if, if i was a judge and i was looking at 100 and somebody just took my attention away from everybody else i'd be like ball of higher. smoke is really <laughs> funny <laughs> and, what, and then it like breaks and you're like <laughs> and what's the higher a personality higher they're gonna make everybody laugh during audition maybe you can make I everybody laugh stand -up comedy <laughs> a squirting flower <laughs> Like, I do like hibachi, <laughs> hibachi style to yeah. the judges. Oh, uh, the ketchup <laughs> string that shoots out. That would, be, that would really make me stand out. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> she has she has a trick plan. It's like the deck of cards, but she forgets she has it, and she does a cartwheel, and then all the cards just go everywhere. They're like, "What the fuck was that?" 
I have to She's improv like, like it was <laughs> like 52 pickup. Like, <laughs> 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 uh, just quarters. Anyway, just somebody please give me a job. I'll do it for free. I'll do it for free. Yeah, on, if anybody knows anything, just get her in even like a <laughs> like Instagram skit or something. Maybe background dancer or something like that. That, that, should, that should help. Oh. Right now, Tate McRae is huge. You know who she is? Yeah. Oh, I feel like, why don't you just DM her? The thing yeah, is- Just call Tate up. <laughs> no, no, what DM. What happens if you like, just call Taylor up? I feel like Taylor DM is up. very possible with her to DM her. Well, about that. she started off as a dancer. <sighs> yeah. Like uh, one of the best dancers in the country when she was a kid. How old is she? She's like 20, she's right? She's 20. Yeah, she's young. It's weird she when might you're be like 21. in your 30s and there's these new pop stars. You're like, oh, and then you're like, that's like, it still feels like a child. Yeah. Like, yeah. Young. There's something like, like Britney Spears was like 15. Yeah. Like, people were looking at her. Wait, yeah. She, when she was getting big, she was 15. Yeah. Britney Spears. Whoa. Yeah, she was young. Uh, like hit me baby one more time. Is she's like 16. Get out of here. Yeah. Dude. No way. Yeah. Which is so like school I mean, girl outfit. I mean, hit bro, me baby weird. one more time. Britney Spears was like my goal to dance with when I was younger. She always had kind of the same group of dancers. Yeah, that's like Justin Bieber. He has the same group. She looked so much older. Like just even her like her demeanor. I think she was, was 15. 15 in that. Oh my gosh, this picture. It's Britney, bitch. Her look was the perfect like 90s. Yeah, she's like literally. The, the 90s it's so look. sad when Conic. you like watch old videos of Britney Spears when she's like at her like peak Peach. and she's just she rehearsing with her like yeah. so good. dancers and she's just like enjoying herself. Yeah, man. She was so, so like, uh, just seeing some of her interview, interviews, she was like the sweetest person. I wanted I'll, to be her. I'll never forget. So All bad. I wanted was the Britney Spears CD for Christmas. <laughs> and really? my grandma got me Christina Aguilera. No! And I, oh. fuck her. I like didn't talk to her for like a year. Genie I was in a bottle, <laughs> Christina I Aguilera. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But did I, you I want was baby so mad. One, did you want Baby One More Time CD? Because that one had the poster of her. I had that on my wall. She was I was, I was <laughs> devastated. <laughs> it was a different It was a different time. Though Christina Aguilera, though, man, I'm a genie in a bottle. Oh, baby. Come and rub me the right way, honey. And she's in the sand and she's like, Ooh. How yeah, old we was had she no with business that? singing Probably that. 60. That's crazy. She, there would be Christina Aguilera commercials, I remember. There was like, get genie in a bottle. She, the, her, she was with the Pepsi commercial, right? Or was that somebody else? Or was no, that, that was years? Kendall. No, she stopped before, the war. No, before the nineteen hundreds. <laughs> but with, I mean <laughs> the nineteen hundreds. <laughs> but with, no, this was a long time ago. When Christina Aguilera though did dirty and she's like in that that boxing ring, she's like, oh. I want to get dirty. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I I love the way that was shot. I, I I just saw that recently. Yeah. Wow. I I saw somebody else. Bad baby. I love that. They're, what? Would you do oh, it like this? And you do it like this? Yeah, in the boxing ring. Yep, yep, yep. Where is she? Come she's back with the heaters, bad she's baby. Preg she's she's pregnant. pregnant. Rihanna, Rihanna does Super Bowl. Let's see some content. Yeah. Let's see some music, bad baby. bad baby doing Super Bowl. I can't. <laughs> and he do it like this. And he like that. <laughs> What's she going to name her baby? Cash me. <laughs> Kashmir. I was just about to say that. Kashmir Asai. 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 Kashmir Asai. Good baby. Asai is a beautiful name. It's a beautiful name. My name is Asai Marie. Oh, and if my kid puts a name on her test and the teacher misspells, apostrophe over the I, please. Asai Antoinette. Asai is gorgeous. Asai. It really is. I love that. Write it down. It's a little too close to celebrity kid yeah. name but <laughs> i need to take a shit and I, I don't know if did, i should do I just it did first uh, time i've ever taken a mid podcast poop yeah no this is my first time too it was because it's early coffee. it's early in oh. the day it is i haven't done my morning routine yet mm -hmm. it, oh, i also have not brushed what? my teeth yet really Ooh. because i just woke up remember like you walked in i was just getting out of bed and i was like i have no time to do anything i just mm. gotta eat real quick and hop in the hop in the stew hop in the <laughs> studio yeah, you know i stew. just like it's just oh, god my my days are just so booked and booked and busy i just have no time i get it you know it happens or just attach a toilet inside these <laughs> god this shit cast <laughs> just <laughs> guys uh, is it cool if we just like sometimes just take like a kind of a like a silent break like should we just keep the cameras rolling keep it silent for uh, like you know for a good minute let yeah. the people grab a snack just let them use the bathroom let we make should a call start having real, intermissions real i would he i would love an intermission <laughs> Cause I feel like there's just I, I, I it's like a 
I start getting crazy. Yeah. And you start taking breaks. I saw something and it was, I, I don't know why I never thought about it before, but you know how you eat like a whole bag of popcorn, like an extra large during a movie? Yeah. I eat it like the first 20, like 10 minutes. How easy it is to do that. Mm -hmm. Somebody had an entire popcorn bag filled with French fries and they were like, why don't they do this at movie theaters? Wait. And I was like. That's genius. Bro, imagine That's just genius. But he how, how big? I, like like a, a bucket? Like a full blown popcorn. No, no, no. I wouldn't do the biggest one. I think like the the small popcorn filled with fries is like a good Doesn't amount. that sound so much better? That's amazing. Like, but make I would it, just but be, you make it like extra crispy so like it stays. Yes. Stays crispy. Wouldn't that be amazing? That's genius. Okay, what brand of fries are we talking about? Like because like, you can't like oh, you can't like, like a fast, fry it. okay like what fast food or like a chain of fries that's what you would want in a movie theater checkers like I would st if it was steak checkers? and shake fries no checkers no steak and, checkers checkers got them. Steak and shake fries what do you mean what is soft. checkers I'm not well I know Heath, checkers that's not exist, that's not a popular one though it's rallies I, that's really regional as Heath, well you have to uh, skip, like bring it back let's let's think like McDonald's, McDonald's. okay like let's McDonald's think Wendy's too greasy for that. Quantity, but he he. We're th we're thinking Universal movie theaters are only going to work with like a really big brand. So let's you're think right, of like have, when you're having that many fries, it. though, a bucket of fries, you need like a gallon of water to like down that. You'd I mean, like, the <laughs> soda size is like this big. <laughs> You'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> like or tater tots, pop, tater or popcorn tot chicken. You know what's really disgusting to think about? <laughs> okay, a bag of fries, right? It doesn't seem that intimidating. But if it was uncooked, just whole potatoes <laughs> stacked up, and you're like, you're about to eat that many potatoes, twelve potatoes, yeah. inside of this bag, you'd be like, what? Ew. Yeah, they, they say that about like uh, like cheese mozzarella sticks. sticks like, you want yeah. four mozzarella sticks? No, thank you. Do you what want if we them fried? Deep fried it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Give me the whole. I'll eat, eat eight of them. <laughs> it's the same thing when <laughs> I saw one too about uh, like uh, tortilla chips. They were like a big ass bag of tortilla oh, chips. Yeah. You could just sit there and snack. But they were like put down like fresh tortillas, like stacked up. And they're like, "What about this?" And they're like, mm -mm. And then they just <laughs> cut it and deep fried Fry it. it. And they're like, Perfect. "Yeah." Uh, okay, back to the fry situation. Obviously, you need some dips. How do you do the dips in a movie theater with the whole thing of fries? In the middle, the top. They have a section in the top middle, like, like, a, like a lip uh, that goes around, <laughs> yes. and like. You have different ones. Oh no, but they have it like the butter for the popcorn is just all over the top. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at like a damn murder scene. Yeah, they should ew. do like buffet trays at movie theaters to like walk your things and then like put it on your lap so you can have your like snacks I, set I, up. I, they, I don't think they want that because of the mess it would create. I feel like it would make less mess. Because everybody else got their shit on the floor, they're stepping up, they're so tipping. You're their talking pop about like trays where they put back or they just toss out after? Like a, they kind like of they kind of have those. <laughs> what if they gave you just a whole thing of ketchup in your like in your cup holder? It, yeah, it should like, be, they could like, do that. You're like, oh. <laughs> I would love to see what they do though in like 15 years. You know, movie theaters. Like, what's going to be sitting around you? Like, I'm surprised there's not like a an airplane pop out tray where you flip the little armrest and it slide. Yeah, it's over. You could set Heath, it there unless you want your your seats to be sixty bucks a pop watching a movie. Like it, it has poor, to be like the sport cleanup people have to go like because <laughs> they barely like it's it's barely hard to clean. Remember, you can't get a vacuum in there. That's right. Don't so, get dust on the screen. I saw yeah. this movie theater on TikTok that's in Seoul, Korea, South Korea, and uh, at the movie theater they have box seating, like premium box seating. Like so a play? In the mo well, no. So there's the normal like seating in the movie theater. And then up by the projector are rooms. Yeah, where you book out like- Interesting. A private, it looks like uh, an arena box. But for a- uh, But for a movie theater. So like you and your friends get like a private box above everybody else watching There's something the really cool out here where they do um, like a, a famous movie that's, you know, a box hit, whatever and they cook for you, and they cook all of the food that they're eating throughout the movie, and they bring it to you as the scenes are going on. And the seating is super limited, and there's, like, booths, basically, so you, like, reserve these tables, and it's almost like a intimate dining movie experience. Yeah. And we were like, oh, we should totally do that. We looked it up. The prices? 300, uh, 400 bucks. Per person. Oh, that ain't. Which is pretty it. crazy, unless they're bringing out like fifteen rounds of different but items also, like, that's of food. A lot of but food. 
But like, if you think about movies, they're not like how much food is actually and coming how, out, and how long is the movie? Because it's like an hour and a half. Well, yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> the, one, the one we were gonna do um, was white chicks, and I was thinking about the scene where they're at the restaurant. And she's, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that giant smorgasbord of food. There's like. Or crab, there's ribs, and, there's and Heath was he, when he told me this, I was like Heath, I actually like don't like any of that food. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm really not gonna enjoy this experience. <laughs> that's like, look, look, that's like, disgusting. Imagine, they imagine bring that out, eating that all of it like, <laughs> with lots and lots of sauerkraut. No, no, thank you. Four hundred dollars. I'll watch that shit at my house. They also did um Home Alone, which would have been really fun. Yeah. I oh, pizza probably in the beginning, and then. With yeah, a, yeah, and then ice cream and yeah, the cookie. Mm. I'm trying to think of a movie that I would love to like actually eat the cuisine. Is it every time it. you see Ooh, the food in a movie, or every time someone's being served an item? Like, does it have to be like a? a I, very, I, I, do I you want to do ratatouille on your birthday? They have ratatouille. Oh, yeah. that's oh, that's that'd be good. fun. And they do the probably the strawberry and the cheese is the appetizer in the beginning. That's when he wow. like realizes he loves. That would be a good one. I I think that that that's worth the experience because it's like a food movie. It should be food movies. Like what's another food movie? Uh, Julie and Julia. Yeah, <laughs> not a lot. Um, uh, waiting. <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> Ew. Just a horrible food experience. <laughs> like. Gets his dandruff and like puts it on top of the mashed potatoes. Dude, waiting. It's disgusting. Oh yeah, I really have to take a go. A do but should we <laughs> should we should we close it out yeah. before I do that? Okay, cool. Um, all right, that's all we have for today, folks. Mm. Make sure to check out um these episodes every Monday audio form on all the podcast platforms, and then we post these episodes on Tuesdays on YouTube every uh, Tuesday on YouTube <clears throat> at youtubecom slash Zane and Heath every week on Tuesday. Very Radio good. Form. Also make sure to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We have bonus episodes every single month. We do live Q and A's every month. We keep these cameras rolling. We just sit here and hang out. It's an extended version of the podcast. Super fun. Uh, a lot of behind the scenes content, you know, updates, things like that. And uh, yeah, it's a great time. Patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. If you want to check it out. Also, we have coffee promoted.com. Make sure to check that out. We got cake cups. We got bag coffee. We got matcha. We got drinkware. We got we got it all. Komodo.com. Um, jump into the online? Yeah, that's it. We're going to jump on the online. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Uh, stay safe out there. See you next week. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.